Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and another video. I've got um, a video on my nails today so obviously you can see the need doing. I've took everything off that was on and um, I'm going to be using these tips. So these are like um, quite short. Uh, well they look short when they're just tips but when I put them on my nails they were actually quite a bit longer than I usually have but I just really like the length of them. I've had short nails for ages and I thought I just want some nice ones uh, a bit longer. I've already done all my prep but I'm just spraying with alcohol and getting rid of any dust that's still left and then I'm using a dehydrator this is the Born Pretty one and I'm putting the coat of that on all of the nails and then I'm using the acid free primer from Born Pretty as well and I'm putting that on all of the nails as well and then I'm leaving that a little bit longer just to dry a little bit before I start putting the tips on. So I'm using this six in one nail glue from Bomb Pretty. And this is, um, I found this works best for me with tips. I don't ever get them coming off when, uh, when I use this. And I'm just using a little flash lamp and I'm just putting them in position, holding them, and then putting them under that lamp for about 10 seconds just to sort of flash cure them. And then when all the tips are on at the end, I'll do a full cure in my big lamp. So you can see what they look like from the side. They are quite flat onto the nail, so you've not got any ridges to file off or anything like that. Um, so I did put them on all the nails and then I did give them a little bit of a file just to make sure that the shape was how I wanted it. So then I'm going to be using um, some Madame Glam gels. So I'm going in with the base coat. And I've sped this up because I'm really scrubbing it into my natural nail and making sure that it goes over the tips as well. Um, the last time I did a set sort of like this, I didn't put base coat on the tips because the tips had already been filed, but the gel started to separate from where the tips were. So that's why this time I've decided to use base coat over the whole thing. So I'm using this Shimmer White and Shimmer Pink from Madame Glam. So these are the new gel pots that they've brought out. Um, and I really wanted, as soon as I swatched them, um, I will put a link to the swatch video in my description box, but there are some beautiful colours and I knew that I wanted to do a light ombre with the Shimmer Pink and the Shimmer White. I did a similar set years ago with acrylic and I absolutely loved it. Um, but it was so fiddly and such a pain because it was acrylic and it took ages to file as well. When I saw these gels, I thought I'm going to try and recreate that, but with these gels. So I'm using the Shimmer White first and I'm just putting sort of a thin-ish coat on and I'm starting at the free edge and then I'm just feathering it up onto the nail. So this is just the first coat and I do it in a few layers. So I do this first layer. And then that all gets cured for 60 seconds and then I go in again just doing the same but I move it uh, a little bit further up than I did the last time and that gives you a more sort of graduated effect at the um, at the edge of the gel as you're feathering it up So after I've put the white on and all those coats have been cured, I'm going in with the pink now, the shimmer pink, and I'm doing a very thin coat on the nail bed area and then I'm just um, bringing it down so just past halfway. And I'm doing that on all of the nails so that is a very thin coat and that's just to make sure that the whole of my natural nail is actually covered because if you put a slip layer on and then put your, um, your gel on, in a thicker bead you for sort of for your first coat on top of the natural nail it can sort of shrink away from the edges of your nails and it did do that a tiny little bit but not um it wasn't as noticeable because i'd put this first coat down so after that's been cured for 60 seconds i go in again with um a thin slip layer and i keep that wet and then i put a bigger bead on 
and I bring that down to just past halfway and I make sure that it's very very thin where I'm trying to sort of blend it in but I do the same with every nail so I'll put the slip layer on leave it wet and then put a bigger bead on and then bring it down and then if I've not put enough gel on I might put another bead on just before I cure it so this is just sort of the basics to get your fade and there, there isn't any structure that's been built up on these nails there is a little bit but not as much as we need so after I've done this I'll show you what they look like from the side and then you'll know what I mean I always tend to put too much gel on and then have to file it off but I'd rather put too much on a little bit too much than not have enough and have to go back in and put more gel on because this shimmer white it isn't opaque it's it it is sheer so you need to make sure that it is covering everywhere that you want it to cover so if you like this video please give it a like and if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button and then hit the notification bell and then YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video and links to everything that I've used in this video will be in the description box and I've also got a 35% off discount code which is on the top of the screen there that you can use at Madame Glam and you'll find the link to their website in my description box as well So you can see there from the side that they do need more structure adding. So I'm going to go in again with the pink and do exactly the same thing. So I'm putting a slip layer down um, and then putting a bigger bead on. Um, on, that on that pinky nail, I didn't actually use two layers because the first layer was thick enough. So I didn't need a slip layer and a bigger bead, but I do do that on the rest of the nails. I always tend to put a bit more gel onto the pinky nail than any of the others because it is a much smaller nail so I really like the consistency of these gel in the pots and it's a lot easier to use it with an application brush than it is to use it out of the bottle when it's builder in a bottle so I'm really glad that they've come out with these gels So you can see from the side that they have got more structure now on the nail bed area but there isn't enough um, in between the nail bed area and the tip that it was, there was a little bit of a of a dip there so I did just go over with the clear um, just to fill that in and make sure that I didn't have um, you know there wasn't bits where I was missing gel because what I would end up doing to get it all level I might have filed too much of the nail bed area off or too much of the white and ended up with gaps and I didn't want that so yeah I just go over just where that gap was and then you can see from the side that the uh, they've got all the structure that they need now maybe a little bit too much so then I do file them off camera um, and then give them a buff and then they're ready to um, just have a brush with the alcohol just to make sure that there isn't any more dust because the last thing you want when doing a really nice set of nails is getting dust in your top coat because then your dust is there all the time and whatever sets you do you're going to end up with bits of dust in it so now I'm using the no wipe top coat and I'm top coating all the nails and the reason I'm doing this now is because I was going to leave them like this I thought I just really like nice simple ombre nails the pink and white and I was just going to leave them like that but then I decided I wanted a little bit of something extra so I do cure this for 60 seconds and then I add a little bit more
so I'm using these little flowers and I'm using the smallest one um, and some of the pearls and silver caviar beads so I'm just putting some rhinestone gel on the top of this ring finger and I'm only putting these on this one finger so I'm putting the flower on first and then I'm putting a little bit more of the rhinestone glue just in the middle so that I can put a caviar bead in the centre of the flower and then I'm using some of the pearls just one on either side and then I'm using the silver caviar beads to go around the top and I'm just sort of fixing those into place where I want them before I'll give that a 60 second cure and then this is what they look like I have put some cuticle oil on I didn't show you me doing that because my dog has chewed my cuticle oil bottle and the, the bottle is fine but the top is all chewed so I didn't want to show you that um, but yeah I have put cuticle oil on because it's really important if you've used alcohol um, that you do um, put the moisture back into your skin so this is how they look I absolutely love them um, and I think they're even nicer than the ones that I did with the acrylic because the pink is more pink um, yeah I just love the colours together I think these are gorgeous so let me know what you think in the comments would you wear these or do you like a bit more nail art on yours I do like nail art but I do like the simple ones as well so like I said earlier if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already so that is it for this video so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye I'm